All right, people, today we're going to make a peach cobbler. Now, the cobbler is a dessert consisting of a fruit filling poured into a large baking dish and covered with a batter, biscuit, or dumpling before being baked. Now, the first thing, what you want to do is to preheat your oven for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to make sure the oven is nice and hot. You're going to take whatever type of pan you need for either a square pan or a rectangular pan. Doesn't matter what size of the pan. Now, you're going to spray with non-stick cooking spray and we're going to set this aside. So we're going to start with the peach basis. You're going to need about this of the canned pear or a fresh pear while you have in the house. I'm going to use about 29 ounce can of sliced peaches. It has been yellow clean peaches in heavy syrup. You're going to drain it really well and make sure to save all the juices or the syrup. And I'm going to see how much juice is going to measure or the syrup. I'm going to put it into the measuring cup. I'm going to guess 9 by 13 inch baking pan that I just sprayed with non-stick cooking spray with butter. I'm probably sure the peaches will fit into this. Let's see how that goes with. Uh, probably almost. I just already arranged the peaches slice side down into this pan. I'm going to reserve how many juices or syrup that it has with. I think that is one and a third cup. Now to make the sweet and spice syrup, we're going to put it into the saucepan. Let's start with one and a third cups has been already reserved juices or syrup. I'm also going to put a third of a cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. 2 tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm also going to put in about half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger, a fourth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and an eighth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm breaking the sugar and the cornstarch to get all the lumpy one. That goes right into the medium heat and it will come to a boil. It's almost getting comes to a boil. I keep whisking all the way around that break those lumps of the cornstarches. Can you see how it just turns really bubble? So once that after it comes to a boil, we move from the heat. Now you can go ahead and plop in two tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're going to melt that right in. Has been already bubbles up. Just almost thick into the syrup, sweet and spice syrup. Here you go, the butter just melted. We're going to pour it right into it has been oil drained with the peaches. Look at this one. You can see how just really thick together. Alright, you can pour the sweet and spice syrup right into the peaches. It has been drained over. I like to give this to a toss into for the sweet and spice syrup right over the peaches or you can evenly spread it over if you can use it with the rubber spatula. I'll just spread it over or toss. We're going to set this aside for it momentarily. We're going to move on for the batter biscuit topping. Now to make the batter biscuit toppings into a large bowl, my bowl is not big enough, I'm going to do it by half as well. I'm putting about 3 cups of all-purpose flour followed by a fourth of a cup plus 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar, 2 tablespoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt and I just get give that a little whisk around to stir it up. I cut into 12 tablespoons of remaining unsalted butter that I brought to room temperature. You want to cut those using with the pastry blender until you get resembles coarse breadcrumbs. You have to make sure to scrape in the size of the bowl. I just go ahead and make it a little well into the center after it just resembles coarse crumbs. I pour one and a half cups of whole milk. Then you want to give it a one last stir to form it into just like a cake batter or either for the muffin batter. You're just like a really nice and thick cake batter. And now we're going to make uh, sugar and spice toppings for the second leaf. In this separate bowl that we're going to make our sugar and spice toppings, I'm going to put a remaining a fourth a cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. The remaining spices, 3 4 teaspoons of ground cinnamon, 4 teaspoons of ground ginger, and a 4 teaspoons of ground nutmeg. Let's break all the sugar using a next whisk. You just want to combine 4 of these together and break around to get a resembles coarse sand. It looks almost perfectly coarse sand. And we're going to ready to assemble. So we're ready to assemble for those peach cobbler. 
I'm going to spoon those batter one by one on top of the peaches. I'm going to use it with the larger size of the ice cream scooper. I'm just going to use a, a back of the spoon to cover all those. Just all cover the biscuit batter topping. And we're going to sprinkle up the sugar and spice toppings right over the biscuit. This could be for the extra crunch. Alright, once you sprinkle that on top, we're going to pop this in the oven. It has been already preheated for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to bake this for 40 minutes until it is, the peaches are really softened and the biscuits will be nice and golden brown on top. looks just ready. I'm just turning this off. Let's take it out over here. We're going to put it on a wire rack. I can smell these spices inside with the peaches. Let's put this on a wire rack. Here we are after it's just about 40 minutes. I took it out of the oven, put it on a wire rack to cool before we're going to serve warm. You can see all the sugar and spice toppings. It's very nice and crystallized, give it a good crunch on top of the batter biscuit. Also the peach on basis is going to be really thick and I hope it's going to get smells great. Very, very smell visions. If you like, you can let the peach cobbler rest on the cookie rack after it's baked for just a little while ahead. Now we're ready to serve, real warm. And you can see the the biscuit toppings just tenderize and the peach is really softened. Look at how gorgeous. Ice cream's on top and look at that beautifully it does. And you have a finished peach cobbler. If you're interested for more recipes write down in the comments below if you want to say something. Make sure to view all videos watch before sharing. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for everyone. Give that so warm to scoop with some vanilla ice cream and enjoy. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. Then ring the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video.